experience our God in ways that nobody else can. Faith without works is dead. There are so many aspects of the Bible that we as the body are not operating in for whatever reason. And the main reason is fear. If I, if I do that, then what if I need something? What do you mean, what if you need something? You can't entertain the spirit of fear through, through the question of what if. What if is everything. What if this? What if that? What if did? What did God say? What if you do what God tell you to do and you get blessed beyond what you can imagine and or think? There are levels and places that we have not gone to or experienced as a body because of fear. And until we step out on faith and do what God has called us and created us to do, the word boldness was in that text, in that chapter, at least four times. Boldness. 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 So I pray in the name of Jesus you got something out of that little teaching of Acts chapter 4, speaking about how the people of God operated in that particular time. Greater works. We here. This is 2023. End of a Shemitah year. End of tabernacles. If you can't be bold about things now and quit talking about what you see on TV, you ain't part of the body. That's, that's the word. They gonna know us by the fruit. That's it. Your fruit will tell on you. The things you've done, the things you're doing. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for what our, seen, what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard. We thank you, Father God, that you're a God that cannot lie to the Son of Man that you would ever have needed to repent. You, you spend your whole life that we know of, according to the Bible, sin-free. You did never sin. You was without spot or wrinkle, which made you the, the, the spotless lamb to, to atone for the sins of the entire world. We thank you, Father God, because even after that, you gave us the power of the Holy Spirit to walk in boldness, Father God, to stand on the word of the living God, believing you for what you said, what you've done, and what you're doing. I thank you for, for who you are, Father God. I bless your name. I give you all the praise, honor, and the glory. I look forward to the manifestation of the promises that are about to happen. I thank you for this opportunity and these platforms to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Continually have your will and your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, may God bless you, and heaven's face continually and always smile upon you.